My name is Erin Miklo, and I'm here with Knife 49 at Rebellion from Milan, Italy. How are you guys? Super. Introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Luca Dubi, and I play guitar with Knife 49. Hi, everybody. I'm uh, Franco, oh, the president of the bass and the vocal. I am King Grind, the drummer, the motherfucking drummer. <laughs> Hello, I'm Paola. I'm just here to help translate. <laughs> band from Milan how is it how did it come to be that you are here last year you played the rebellion introducing stage and then this year they put you on a bigger stage what made you come back and how is the journey getting here how is the set for you sorry <laughs> Quali sono stati i vari passaggi che vi hanno riportato qua? Passaggi? Passaggi penso, il principale è quello di, penso sia stato quello di suonare bene la volta scorsa, in primis. E poi comunque in base a quello ha valutato se, se farci suonare qua di nuovo. Penso sia stato in base a quello che hanno visto, che hanno visto l'anno scorso, più che altro. Um, he, he said, Franco is saying that uh, uh, last year he had quite uh, success in a way, so he was invited again this year and they are so very pleased to, to be here again. That's awesome. Can you talk about what it means to you to be invited back to this, this festival again here in the UK? Okay, she would like... Uh, Vorrebbe sapere uh, come vi sentite per, per essere stati invitati di nuovo quest'anno. For us it was very important because uh, to be in a foreign country where people don't speak your language, so we, we came here uh, with our lyrics in Italian and uh, we, we had very good feedbacks from uh, the crowd and from the promoters. So be able to, to play our music, uh, speaking our language in a foreign country, especially in the UK, who has the biggest uh, tradition in punk music. For us, is uh, super exciting and, uh, and a, a good big pride for us. Yeah. Thank you. So have you had, um, obviously, Rebellion is a very multicultural festival. Have you had a lot of Italian people here that have, have given you feedback about your music and, and that you can speak Italian with? Yeah, some, some, some friends came with us uh, last year and uh, some other bands from Milan were playing last year and uh, some other people we met here from, from Italy but I have to say there is not so much people from Italy here oh, really? so the few that, that, that we met uh, somebody already knows us or somebody else knew us after, after our show but uh, yeah, it's, it's it's most important for us to be known from people from all over the world. what the punk scene is like in in Milan I've I've been to Italy before and but only Rome and a few other places Rome has kind of a punk scene what is it like in in Milan um, I have to say uh, the whole underground scene in Milan uh, on live music and also electronic music in general whatever is underground is really underground and really it's be becoming smaller and smaller because since the middle of the 90s was a big uh, alternative city with a lot of squats 
and uh, and social places. Now it's very mainstream. It's a super mainstream city, so the the punk scene and the live music scene is smaller and smaller. Yeah. But we are trying to keep the fire alive. You know, yeah. <laughs> if if my. Diciamo che negli ultimi anni, secondo noi, secondo molti altri, si è un po' spenta. Diciamo, è quella che c'è molto modagliola. C'è ancora, ma la fascia diciamo, di età è molto alta. Di giovani veramente cioè, punk o skinhead sono pochissimi. Ho mai capito come il fatto del pop, rap, elettronica, tutti si buttano a fare quello. E, e niente, siamo in pochi e ben incazzati. Ok, in, in, uh, in Milan the, scene, the punk scene is very small nowadays, it's very niche and uh, the age of the people is much older so because uh, the music that people listen to basically is uh, rap, techno, other kinds of music. But they're trying to keep the scene quite strong and angry. That's awesome. So I have to ask Franco, uh, what inspired you to wear the mask on your face? Okay, vuole sapere cosa che ti ha ispirato a tenere un, la maschera sul viso. Ma hai visto in faccia senza? <laughs> Did you see me without? <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have seen you without the mask. You're not a bad looking man. <laughs> actually recently released a new album um, and it was kind of a DIY album. Can you talk about uh, what it was like making that and challenges you faced? Yeah. So, io lo traduco per loro. Volevo sapere, avete avete appena fatto un album nuovo e vorrebbe sapere come 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 è nato e quali sono state le sfide che avete dovuto passare. Esatto. Bene. È nato chiaramente do c'è già un lavoro dietro dall'anno scorso, è già abbastanza, abbastanza lungo. Le sfide, diciamo anzitutto, principalmente quelle economiche, perché fare un album in Italia costa una cifra improponibile e quindi praticamente l'album è quasi autoprodotto. È autoprodotto, senza major né niente. E poi tempo, sbattimenti varie, capito? La sfida più grossa è anche suonare con me. Poi il vero problema sono con lui, che infatti è veramente fuori di testa, quindi... Okay, the biggest challenge that uh, we faced was to, to find the, the financial support because it's very expensive to produce an album in Italy. And the second biggest challenge was playing with him. I don't, didn't explain. That's the biggest challenge. But why? Why? Perché? Did you why? Did you why? Did you want to tell him? He's a bit hard to handle. <laughs> let's let's put it this way. He's like Marduk of A team. It's like crazy guys. So um, by my point of view, this album uh, uh, compared to the other, we, we focus a lot on the songwriting and uh, it's more mature for sure and a bit deeper in the lyrics uh, and uh, and also in the song structure is more complex and uh, we we decide to um, to go without a label do it do it by ourselves also because nowadays the label is helpful just for CDs and promotion for physical supports but nowadays it's more important to have bandcamp uh, spotify digital uh, digital distribution of music that we can do by, our, by ourselves 
So we, we just recorded in a very cool studio, Attitude Studio in Milan. And I brought to my home studio all the recordings and I did the, the, the mix down and the mastering and then graphics and all the stuff. So we produce everything by, us, by ourselves. Awesome. So what else do you have guys have coming up for the near future for the band? Do you have more shows or any tours or... Um, for sure, uh, we we really want to we really want to write uh, we really want to write new new material now because we are rehearsing and trying and playing and playing and playing, playing uh, this new album since uh, six seven months now. So we, we we are really looking forward to write uh, write new stuff. That's awesome. Se vuoi allora sicuramente fare il quinto album. Sì, sì, il quinto album sicuramente. Adesso devo affrontare un attimo di pausa, che devo fare la mia spalla, tendine, mi siamo fermi qualche mese, però ripartiremo da novembre, dicembre, con già dei live fissati anche all'estero e quindi andiamo avanti. Sempre. Ok, abbiamo molti progetti in futuro, ma al momento ho bisogno di fissare i bones in my shoulder perché ho il problema, quindi avremo un rest per un paio di mesi e poi iniziamo di nuovo in ottobre, novembre. Abbiamo molti progetti in futuro, anche a Broad. Questo è bellissimo. Well, I'm going to close with that because I just had a coughing fit over here and I'm. Thank you so much for taking the time today, guys. He thinks you got moved by them. No, it was just a cough. It was just a cough. Ciao, siamo i Noi 49 e voi state guardando The Last Rocker TV. Hi guys, we are Night49 and you are watching Last Rockers TV.